Yeah. So we had a freeze this morning, mm -hmm. and I want to start with a freeze update, actually, because uh, that may be one of the last times, Woo certainly not the last. And I'll yes. say the, the average last freeze is March 12th at DFW. I fully expect to get through the next two weeks without a freeze. Uh, so we'll see. Hang in there, gardeners. The number of freezes through today, including this morning, is 20. Uh, the normal uh, number of freezes to date is 25, so we're five behind the norm, and we typically see 29 freezes in an entire season. So there's still time. I'm not saying we're not going to get another freeze. We likely will. It's still only mid-February, but uh, wait till you see the 10-day the, the forecast. Today's high 53. There's that 30-degree low this morning. Normal high is 62. Uh, record is 85, set back in 1986. That's your record high. Uh, right now it's 50 degrees out of DFW. Pollen count, really quick uh, look here. Mountain cedar is moderate, elm is moderate, and fungus is low. Mountain cedar season doesn't end for another few weeks, but uh, it is almost to the end of that season. But with the southerly winds we're expecting over the next few days, I expect that to get a little bit worse. There's the overcast skies we've had today. We've had uh, the cloudy skies today. We'll have mostly cloudy skies again tonight. Maybe a couple of breaks here or there. That's the same thing for tomorrow. So if we go through the day tomorrow, this is the morning into the afternoon. You see, there could be some peaks of sunshine here or there. I still think it's mostly cloudy, um, but it will be much warmer. 44 degrees tomorrow morning in Fort Worth, 45 in Dallas and Decatur. Uh, 43 degrees in Paris and 48 in Waxahachie. So a warm start to the morning. High temperatures over the next five days. 80 degrees on Monday, 82 on Tuesday. That's 20 degrees warmer than normal. Uh, the normal high is 62, 76 on Wednesday, then down to 70 on Thursday. And this is because that little drop is because we have a, a, a pretty quick moving system rolling through our area uh, on Wednesday. That'll bring us a good chance of rain, but it's a quick mover. So Wednesday is not a rainy day but there will be rain around. So watch how fast this moves. And this is seven o'clock in the morning, some scattered showers and thunderstorms kind of favoring the western half of North Texas. That moves in pretty quickly. There's 9 a.m. By midday, the heaviest stuff is in East Texas. There may be a lingering shower or two uh, through midday, especially east of the Metroplex, but then very quickly by the afternoon, it's out of here. And we're not expecting severe weather in North Texas. East Texas has a chance to see severe weather. Louisiana, Arkansas, and Mississippi. This has kind of been the bullseye uh, over the last several chances of severe weather. Uh, and this one, no different. Quick quarter to maybe half an inch over the next week. And that rain chance Wednesday is not the only rain chance next week, but it's certainly the most widespread chance that we have over the next 10 days. Tonight, 45, a light breeze, not as cold tonight. Tomorrow, 70. Much warmer than today. Southwest winds 10 to 20. There are your low 80s. By the way, not even close to a record. This shocked me. The record on Tuesday when we have an 82 high is 95. Uh, <laughs> it's cr I know, right? <laughs> yeah, 95 <laughs> is the record. So that's not e we're not even in the ballpark there. Uh, and that wasn't that long ago. Or am I old? Maybe I'm old. 1996, <laughs> back in the 1900s. Uh, 76 degrees on Wednesday, 70 on Thursday. Uh, a brief cool down Friday, if you want to call it that for this time of year, that's norm, the norm, 64 on Friday, and then back to the low 70s by next Saturday.